after Takara released Die Clone Reboot. The modular toys seem to be really popular. Hello, this is Safety Breakers Review. And in this video, we will take a look at very interesting figure, MMO02 Defender, and construction set from Rehio. Enjoy! When out of package, this set's parts still on plastic runner. That mean you need to cutting off all parts. I recommend to file ball joint sockets. Because of plastics quality, the ball joint sockets are very tight. In this set there are 4 colors to choose, depend on color you like. After assembly basic build you should get, Defender Mech, Multifunction Vehicle, Rubber Tube, 3 Mock-Up Drivers, and many of extra parts. Let's look at Defender Mech's articulation, first. Defender height around 9 cm, and has 11 points of articulation. Shoulders on ball joint, can move variety of range. Upper arm using pivot joint, can rotate all around. Elbow using pivot joint, can move forward almost 170 degrees. Wrists using pivot joint, that can rotate around. Hips using ball joint, can rotate around socket. Thighs using pivot joint, that can rotate around. Knees using peg joint, and can move backward more than 90 degree, and little forward. Ankles using ball joint, that can rotate around. So, Defender's articulation is really good, even basic build. Let's peek at detailing. Defender has not many levels of detail, as modular toy life. The front armor has the most embossed detail. Very little panel line. The windshields are using stickers. The stickers quality is bad. It will peel off very easy. Only paint job is black. On center windshield. Cockpit just like one layer detail. Nothing special in detailing. The console has some detail. But on the back side it just injection molding. All other parts very simply detail. Just adding a little hard surface. The shoulders just single piece and very hollow on another side. Elbows joint is very deference color, it very looks out of place. Forearms using just cylinder piece. Cover with simple armor part. The hands molded in C-shape with very basic detail. On the back side there is just big plastic piece. To cover hollow at rear, attached with two gas tanks like piece. Upper legs using almost same piece as upper arm but wider. Lower legs just a single piece, with very minor detail and hollow on rear side. Feet piece designed very like human feet. Overall good looking design, kind Warhammer 40k life. However, if you want very highly detail mech, you should be disappointed. If you like my video or my contents, remember to subscribe, like and share. If you like my content give a thumb up, if not give a thumb down. Comment if you want to see in my next content. I will read every comment and answer if possible. For now, let's continue. In this basic build, Defender come with three weapons. First, two arm cannons. By using big armor piece, and cannon-like piece. They are looking okay. Next, mini arms. By using C-joint arm, and some forearm piece, attached with small ball joint piece. Used to be extra arms at this build. Last, battling gun. Using barrel piece, two cylinder pieces, stick piece, handle piece and end cap piece. Seem like double wheeled gun, it impossible to hold. The handle just too short. It cannot hold very well. And another last is riot shield. Just a single piece of plastic. Handle just upside down for some reason. You can arm all weapons, and make this mech looking cooler, and battle ready. So, what you gonna get? Next is a multifunction vehicle. In basic build, multifunction vehicle is a four-wheel tractor with two seats. Height around 4.5 centimeters. I have to say, it just like bonus. The detail not that great. With exposed front chassis. The seats very basic detail. Cover with silver cage. The chassis design not interesting. It just a tractor chassis. Small wheels in front, and big wheels on rear. Because of this tractor, will be useful for parts which we will look at later. For accessories, multifunction vehicle come with 4 extra parts. Arms that we're using for other build, and same with track armor. Last, driver. They are just mock-up. Very basic detail on them. All part very loose. You got standing, and 2 driving poses. I would recommend getting Dynot, or 160 Pilot instead. Now, for gimmick. As modular toy. That mean you need to disassembly all part, to build new one. From manual, they have another 3 built. Transform build. 
by just disassemble seats from multifunction vehicle and attach defender of top of chassis. This built more like heavy duty truck. Next built is construction vehicle. This is a selling point built. And in this build, it looks like bulldozer. Pretty cool looking. And the track shows some new detail and paint job. But you need to sacrifice defender mech. Last built construction mech. By adjust some joints. This time bucket become cockpit armor. Legs and arms have same articulation as defender mech. The track armor got some red ring painted. The arm replaced by camper. You can rotate down the bucket whatever you want. You can visit Rehio website or official YouTube to see another advanced build, which they are very good built out there. Now for comparison, as this set tag is 160 scaled, seems like they are too big for Dyna. Maybe they are around 150 scale. However, Rehio release pilot same size of Dyna. So that may be guarantee that you can play with Diaclone. Here is Diaclone powered system and try Dasher. Surprise, this set very cheap. I will not complain about plastic quality. It's sturdy enough to play without force. The plastic injection still better than some Japanese plastic model kit. But it is Chinese model kit. Ball joint very fit and tight. After that this kit very cool and affordable. You can find this set below than $15. With very variety of play value. If you are looking third party of Diaclone or modular toys, I would recommend this set at below than $15. That is a MM002 Defender and Construction Set, from Regio. What yours guy think, give a comment below. Remember to subscribe our channel. Also, thanks for watching see you in the next video.